Hi all! In this episode I will show you how to quickly start with a new Hanami project. I will create a brand new Hanami application using the prepared Hanami application template. Even though at the time of recording this video the CLI for Hanami is not yet finished, it's super easy to set up a new project thanks to this template and with a Hanami team working hard on the CLI, this will soon be even easier. At the moment, the process consists of four simple steps, but before we will dive into it, let's quickly mention the dependencies required to launch the app. To work with this setup, you will need to have a Ruby language and SQLite database installed on your machine. There are several ways to do so, especially to install Ruby. There are even graphical installers available for various systems, but for me, the easiest way to work with Ruby and its multiple versions is by using the Ruby version manager, in my case, RVM, but it's just my personal choice. Then when it comes to SQLite, we can just use Bundler to install the Ruby gem that takes care of that. I already have Ruby and RVM installed in my system, so let's dive directly into the Hanami template setup. First of all, I need to create a new Hanami project by cloning the template repository into a customized named folder of my application. In the terminal, I will paste the git clone command, adding a sandbox as a project name. Then go to the newly created folder and run bundler to install required Ruby dependencies. By running bundle, all gems specified in the gem file are downloaded and installed. Now let's run the installation script stored in the bin folder, appending the command with my application name. This will rename all the occurrences of the default prototype test string by a sandbox in this case. The output says that the application is ready to be run, but we need yet to apply the proper configuration. Hanami project with the default configuration can be run just by using a normal Puma API with usual port specification and other options. However, if I will run the project now, it will crash saying that the database URL configuration is missing. I'm sure that these error messages will be improved in the near future. But for now, to fix it, we need the environment file collecting all the initial settings for our application to be run in different environments. The template already comes with an example env file named .env-example. I need to copy it under .env.development. Please notice that dash in the middle had been changed to a dot. In this file, among the others, you have the database URL environment variable set, pointing to an SQLite file stored in the DP folder. Now, finally, we can start our application which will be accessible at localhost on port 3000. Let's check it out. Yay! Welcome to Sandbox! Let's change it quickly to render a different text. To do it, we need to visit the home template in the application slice named mine. I will explain all the building blocks of Hanami architecture in a separate videos. But now let's change the text to hello Hanami then I will restart the server and in the browser we can see the updated text. Amazing! So let's summarize this episode. I love how Rails made super easy to start with a new project and deliver MVPs to the clients. Amazing CLI, file generators, all that is perfect for beginners. Unfortunately, when apps grow, Rails default architecture become problematic. Hanami solves that issue and with all the amazing progress on simplifying the initial usage, I believe it has a bright future. I would like to thank Sven Schwen for supporting my channel, really appreciate it. If you want to support me, all donation links are in the description of this video or at hanami.com sponsors. If you have any comments how to improve this concept, tweet me or add a comment below, because it will really help me to make these contents even better. Wish you all the best and see you soon in the next video.